Welcome Mark here with another video. Uh, this time I'm working on uh, this Impala that I bought, 2010. I think it's the same car from about 06 to 13. Uh, the door hinge on the driver's side is wore out. So I'm trying to put pins in it. I'll tell you right now, you can't get pins for it. As of, uh, this is November 2019, I looked everywhere. There are some that are listed. Uh, there's some on Rock Auto and there's also some through Napa. Not the right ones, you'll see in the video why. But if you want to tackle it anyway, maybe you're handy, maybe there's ways you can fix it that I couldn't. Maybe you can get some other bushings somewhere. Uh, take a look though, this is about a 30 minute video, I'm sorry it's so long, but if you want to know how to take this thing apart, it's definitely step by step and you will see it is one heck of a thing uh, to dismantle. I end up buying a new one, spoiler alert. You can see below here, it's been hitting. The guy lifts the door. We'll show you right in here. Because I'm by myself, I think I'm gonna try and prop the door up. Leave that okay like that. That'll hold the top. Uh, there's two bolts. If we get some light in there. On that side, see them? And then there should be two in there somewhere. You can see them both. Take those two off. I think we can pop this out. We'll try and pop the spring out first and see if we can fix this off the car. Sorry guys, I'm missing my tripod. Okay, mm -hmm. so far so good, huh? Hmm. I can. Where's the other one up here? It's way in the back. Some insulation fighting me. And all sorts. I could use actually a little longer one. If I don't strip it. I'm hoping that if I get the first bunch off, I'm going to set something under here first. We should go under the door. That'll stay there. Or if we should just go under the. I think we're gonna go under here. Guess we'll find out if that's a bad idea or not after. All right. Let's get you guys back here now. I like these little gear wrench things. Hopefully this is a good idea. Guess we'll find out together, huh? Okay, that's one. Let's see if we can get into this one here. Save lots of time trying to turn the bolt if you had just a normal wrench. Be here all day. I'd like this video to be like 15 minutes or less. We'll see how that goes. So far, nothing catastrophic has happened yet, but the video's not over yet. That's two of them. I just don't know how we're going to do that. But. Hoping maybe it'll be enough pressure coming off.
because I don't know if anybody's done one of these with the Impalas. Where's the bolt? Let me get out of here. It's way up. Way up high. I'm holding this upside down. That's not going to help. There we go. It just so happens that this ratcheting wrench, the uh, swivel, doesn't, oh, I had it the right way, guys. Why didn't somebody say something? You were? This should be holding the door too, just in case. Besides, you want to flip this way, which you can imagine it wanting to do. Oh, goodness. It's taking so long. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to close it a little bit. And hopefully there's room for the nut. Now I can't get the, the wrench out. I think the, it's it's out. Well, are we ready for a trip to the hospital, or what are we going to do here with this spring? I'll show you what the spring I'm talking about. That spring right there. Hmm. See, hmm, a lot. I'd sure like to show you it from up here though. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, yeah, let's get back in there and watch our fingers. Well, let's see if we can get this last bolt off here. I have to lift the door just a little bit and see what happens. Fall out. Hmm. Let's see if we can lift the door just a little bit more. Two hands would be better than one, really. Oh, the whole thing's together. Hi. Right. Open it up as much as I can, as I dare. Maybe need to close it more. Which is going to be the. Which wasn't a good idea. Oh, there we go. Ta-da! Let's take a look see what we're going to do here. I'm just noticing. See the little rivet there? Almost there's one in here. I'm wondering if it'll punch out. Let's try it. Okay, so maybe we set it about there somewhere. Just got a punch. And yeah, my hammer. So I'm all thinking this isn't going to work, but... And I'm saying no, because it's bending the punch. This I can always use my old snap-on. This thing's like 30 years old or something. Oh, that's good metal. The snap-on part. I don't imagine you can cut that. Let me just see if it's even hacksawable. Some of them are thinking not, but... It's even scraping it. Hmm. It might be, but this is gonna take a while, isn't it? Wow, and you guys are you're getting the full dizziness of it, aren't you? It's just being, I don't know, 30 seconds. I'm halfway through, so I think this is gonna work. But unfortunately, you guys are gonna jiggle. Ah, jiggle already. Sorry, I don't have my good tripod. Whew. It's a lot of work for an old man. Look, we punch that out. I hope so. Tool for the right job. I'm going to use uh, 
couple of quarter inch. See if this works or not. We're gonna have to put it in the vise, in the vise that's upside down. I think we can whack it now. Whoa! Ta da! That worked. Oops, sorry guys. There's some kind of bushing in here, but remnants of one. Hmm. I'd like to be able to just whoop, pop that out somehow. I don't know if you can see, but it's a little bit lopsided, so I'm wondering if from the bottom we can hit this side of it, just pop that little baby out. Let's put it back in the vise. And be careful. I don't know what's going to happen with that other spring on the other side. Or do I? You probably have a, already have an idea. The hospital's only five minutes away. Ouch! But they can't do anything here. They'd have to ship me out. Hmm. Let's flip her over and see what we can see. Hmm. Let me dig it out. Sorry, guys. Really want my tripod back. Tripod. Actually, you know the guy that's got it? It's the guy that actually owns it. It's not like it's in there very tough. I mean, there's nothing left of this bushing. Well, there we go. It's working. Did it come out? Come on, baby. You can do it. You know, the problem is, I think, is because it's... Here we go. It's actually... Flared on the other side there. Hmm. You know what's going to be a problem, I think, is, um, you know, let's take a look. Here's the kit I got from Napper, not a sponsor. 35 bucks Canadian. So there's that piece. That's got to go in the hole somehow. And then there's this piece that must go into here and come out the bottom. It looks like that's how it's going to be. The only problem is I got to get this flat. feel so bad that the video is so horrible, guys. I just feel bad, but not much I can do about it. Put the nut on there. I should be able to just pull it through. I don't like how sideways it's sitting, but maybe we can pry that. Put it back in the vise. Well, this is kind of movable. Thinking if I can get one of those nuts on it. And then try and make it straight and then turn it on. 
should work. So you see how it's sitting sideways. I think I'm gonna pry in here with a little screwdriver, which you won't get to see. I'm gonna pry in here, pull it over just a little bit, and then I'm gonna tighten that up. Unless I can balance it here. A little screwdriver. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, I just need where did I put the wrench now? Oh, it's behind you guys. Hang on. Yeah, it looks like it's going in straight. Hmm. What do you guys think? Yep, let's go on the street. Okay. Whoops. That's funny. Maybe we should have lubed it up a little bit before we... Let's loosen that again. We're going to use some uh, fluid film. It's pretty good stuff. Let's see if we can... I don't know if I can drop that down again. I want the bushing to stay there. Shoot. Mm. Oop. Nah, shoot. Too far, I'm saying, now. Hmm. Can we back up the operation? Yeah. Mm, okay, there we go. Now I'm thinking, I should have put some in there, but I don't think it's possible now. Somehow it'll get in there. What do you think, guys? You know what? I'm stubborn. Let's pop that puppy out. I'm not sorry. Well, nah. You know what? I'm not going to have the car that long. <laughs> there we go. Okay, good. Uh, now we just have to hold that. Whoops, sorry guys. Move something. As it spins around. And I'd say the size is... Monkey wrench size. Crescent wrench size. That'll pull the whole baby together nice. Still move? Oh yeah. Because it's moving in the bushing, right? And the bushing sitting against this piece. We'll tell you what size this is after. Alright. So far so good. Now what? So what it looks like on that side, and that's what it looks like on this side. Now we've got one by my thumb. And then we've got one under here. Let's see what we can do with those. I think we're going to try and take this spring out because it scares me. So I've got vice grips on it. I'll try and grab it like this and see if I can compress it. And get the right amount of non tension. Hmm. Not like it's got lots of pressure, but call me a liar in a minute. 
How we can get it out? That's what I want to know. Why can't we just pop it out? Maybe let's just pop it out and worry about it after. How's that? Let's see if it pops easy. Mm. Yeah, this looks dangerous. Oh, well, that's better. That's way better. <laughs> it popped out. Okay. Now we can move some of this stuff around. I don't know what we want to do with this yet. Guess this one will do the same as we did before. We'll cut it. It's not gonna be easy to do. touch it huh if we can knock that pin out again like we did the other one oh the old man here is working a sweat up hmm same part again where's my hammer some kind of a hammer oh yeah Except, whoops, mm-hmm, not easy, huh, but, maybe we did the wrong side, I don't know, whack it, what do you guys think? Honestly, I don't think it's moving. So there's a way to press it, maybe. Don't want to bend it. Is this thing open that wide? Maybe. I it the whole time, so I think what we're going to try and do is get this in here and try and push that baby out. I think it'll just... Uh, this whole piece will hold it in. Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to get the big guns out. You see a guy put like a gun together in a movie? I think that's what we're doing here. Got my grinder ready. I'm hoping. Let's see what we can do here. We want it to spark which way? dangerous put some better glasses on got a pair of these old goggles i hate them I look like a total dork but hey if i can see after i finish this there you go it's like scuba diving let's try that again
Try not to hurt the hinge. I'm going to be doing this ever again. Just about, guys. This is basically done. Pretty much. I think we can just whack it out of there, I'm hoping. But who knows? Take another snap on tool. I haven't seen my snap on guy in years, so. Actually, the guy I bought from 30 years ago, I think, is dead. Too bad for his family. He's a nice guy. Mm -hmm. Balance it, boy. I could use an extra set of hands again. Hmm. I shouldn't pound it up this way, but I don't think so. Thought we tried that before. gonna want a mushroom. I'm gonna try and tap with the grinder right there but uh, gave it a little zing again. I'm gonna try and punch that out. It looks like you know you can see around it so it must be moving a little bit. Looks like it's moving, but... <laughs> no. What is it moving? Hmm. You could sit it on a socket or something and whack it. It's just... You need two hands, man. We're gonna try and station it in there again. What I've done differently this time is just made it's just hanging on by the bottom one. Like there's two pieces like this, right? So I'm just holding it by the bottom one. Hoping that maybe they'll shift or something as they're trying to come out. Who knows? Well, I don't know. Sure feels like it's moved a little bit, but just a little bit. That's the biggest thing I've got. Hmm. Well, it's moving. I know you don't believe me, but it's moving. Let's get some light on the matter. Not great lighting either, but if it helps you guys see what's going on. You know what I mean? It's like, ouch. Hey, okay. that hurt. Figure that might happen. It's pretty good. Pretty black and blue. Don't do as I say. Holy, does that hurt?
Yowzers. Might actually have got a blood blister or something from it. Is this going to work a little better? Should have done this before, but... Oh well. Ta-da! So I've got the lost use of my thumb, but hey, we got it out. Here she's like a bullet. Now, let's get these other pieces and see if we can put this back together. So sorry, I just cut away for a minute. I'm trying to figure out how this is all going to go on here. Um, that goes like that, right? From here. The springs in between there, or does it go like this? It must go like this. Or it does that, right? That's what it does. But, this is going to go on top. Darn. So, <clears throat> I'm thinking this is going down this way. And as I, we can see, there is no way that is going to fit in there. So I'm going to have to drill this bigger. So that can go in there. And I look, they're all the same. Then we're probably going to have to drill that bigger so we can get that this piece in there. Uh, the screw side is going to go through there. And that's going to be okay. And we'll, we'll, uh, do those even move? Is this big enough? Just, I don't know, see if I can borrow up my bigger one after. So which one's that? That's this one, is it? No. That is... Hmm. Shoot, but that's the way it's going to have to be. Yeah, the bushing's gonna have to go in here. That'll be flush. And this'll go. Is this, I don't think this is the right kit, guys. I don't think so. It can't be. It's not going to work. Oh, maybe it will. But the bushings don't have to be in here. Have to drill that a little bigger for that piece. Wherever it went now. I guess if I wreck it, it's only 35 bucks, whatever I've lost. Okay, yeah, I guess that'll go in there. And then this will have to be in this piece. Wow. It's a lot bigger hole than it was. Well, let's see what we can do. Oh, yeah, I found something big enough. Oh. So I need a drill press for this, really. Which we're not going to go by. Oh boy. So I guess I just about broke my thumb for nothing. This is the wrong kit. All the drilling and stuff like that, it's like, come on, that's not right. Well, where did my paperwork go? Uh, this is the number 605548. If you get that from Napa, it's the wrong kit if you have a what is it, about a 5 to a 13 Chevy Impala? Not going to work. And uh, one way you can tell, too, is that every one of these is the same length. That will not work. I'm just telling you right now. I double checked. We went back to Napa. It says, you guys sent me the wrong kit. We looked it up again. Nope, it's all the same ones. 
So then it's like, well, I'll go to um, Chevy. Can't get this kid either. He's looking at the Napa stuff. It's like, no, 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 it's not right. So uh, I'm getting a hinge. Brand new hinge from Chevy. Wow, just as much as the car is worth. So I'm just thinking if you, the reason I'm doing these is the car has to be safetyed and the hinge pins, the door hinge, too much slop there. It's not supposed to slop at all and that's gonna fail the safety. So that's why I started with all this stuff. And that hinge is gonna be Canadian, 150 or 60 or 70 bucks, something like that, for a darn hinge. Some guys go, why don't you go to a wrecker? Well, try and find one kicking around at a wrecker. That's amazing. Right now, we're 2019, so it's a nine-year-old car. Can't get stinking hinge pins. No kits for it. Nobody else looks like they're making them either, other than this wrong one with these four identical uh, pieces. Not going to work. You're going to need different lengths, and they don't make it. So again, uh, the kit, you want to say the number was. It's a 600-5548, not the right one. I imagine the one through uh, Rock Auto is the same thing. Not gonna work. If it's a dormant thing, I, if like I say, if they all are the same length, not gonna work. I'll show you why. So if you look at the hinge, I've already put one in here. It's going through two pieces of metal, right? And it's only so long. Well, the rest of these has to go through three pieces of metal. Barely fits going through two pieces of metal. That one's going to need three. There's uh, this top piece too that we were looking at that I've been playing with, trying to drill and stuff like that. Um, with this piece that stops the door from whipping open. And then there's nothing to help you fix this little wobbly problem too. Look at this. This is going to be glug, glug, glug every time. So I got a new hinge. That's what it's going to look like. Coming from GM, Yowzers. It goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. Be careful. Do whatever you can to protect yourself. You can also subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And if you're a new subscriber, you have to ring the bell too. It's a little bell there so that you don't miss any of the latest episodes. It's easy to do. Ring the bell. Ring the bell.